This is code.org, and we are going to do investigate and modify more. This program contains a string array that stores a list of countries and double array that stores the percent of each country's population that uses the internet. Ooh, that's kind of cool. 87% United States. What are we doing? You guys use the internet. Well, uh, never mind. All right. Uh, in order, explore this program using the guided questions on the investigate and modify arrays activity. All right, so that is this thing here. I have it up. I'm going to briefly talk about some of this. This worksheet, of course, is your responsibility. All right, so what do I think this does in general? Right. So this is an array. An array allows us to store multiple things. In this instance, it's strings, right? Which is just stuff with quotes around it, words. It could be a sentence. It's just quotes uh, in uh, in a list form. It's a collection form, but it's it, you can think of it as a list. Granted, it's not technically a list. There's a data type that is a list. We'll get into that later. But an array is kind of a list. Kind of. All right. Not technically. I should say that. All right, but an array is a collection of things. It's multiple things in, in, in an order. Now, we also have this array. It's a double array. Double, remember, just means a decimal. It's a fancy way of saying decimal. So then this is going to be the numbers that each country uses the internet. Notice that this is yellow. I assume this is yellow because this is technically an integer. A double needs a, can I put something here? A point zero. That is not a double. However, it should run fine. Java should just convert that and throw a point zero after it. So now we have countries is new countries, new countries, names, internet usage. All right, so this is an object. This object is formed using its of country data type is the class, and it's formed using the country's constructor. We pass it names, which is the names of all of the country, and then we also provide it with all of these numbers. Let's go look at this class. And yep, there's the constructor. All that does, it looks like we're assigning private variables here. So we say, okay, that names I just gave it, we're going to store it within the object. So then country.names would equal all of this stuff, country.internet or dot data would equal all that stuff. Now, what are we going to do? System out print countries. And what are we going to do? We do countries data. What is countries data? It's the object of this class. And we say get names. So now I'm headed back over here. What does get names do? Oh, interesting. So all that does, it just returns all of the names we just passed it. What are the names we just gave it? Well, the names we just gave it are from here. What were those right here? What are those? These. So that would just return all the country's names. So this should print the country's name, percent of internet use. Same deal here. It's going to print the data, it looks like. System out, country's data, print data. Oh, let's see what that does. Does that do them both? Oh, cool. And now print data right here. We pass it the beginning of our message, which is this, or the end of the message. Cool. And then we have our result. So we create an empty string here, index zero, and then we say wall, ooh, a wall loop. Wall index is less than or equal to names.length is, ooh, this is complicated. All right, so the result is a string. What are we adding to it each time? Remember, plus equals means you're keeping the old stuff, but also adding to it. If you're keeping the old stuff and also adding to it, each time you're adding to it, names index. What is index? It's zero when we start. What's at zero here? Australia. So that would be Australia plus semicolon plus data index, which I'm not going to be able, this number here, 85.55, plus our message. What was message? Right there. So what we're doing, and again, in a computer, you can add together strings. This will say Australia, whatever the number was, 85.5. Then we're smacking our message at the end of it, and then slash in, remember, is new line. Then what do we do? We say index is equal to index plus one. And then it's going to keep counting up. Hmm, this looks a bit suspect to me, though, guys, because as long as index is less than or equal to the length, the name's length, okay? So quick refresher, if we have an array of three things, I'm going to say, x wow that's rough y z hopefully you can read that this is three things so the length of this array is three however the index index zero index one index two so let's say this was the array down here and i say index zero yep that works and i say as long as it's less and that we'll pretend this is the array then length 
okay, well, what's the length of this array? The length is three. So as long as it is less than or equal to, I think that's going to be an issue for us because we have zero right now, which is great. We would put X here, add one to the index. We would now be at index one, which is totally fine. And so then we would print out or add Y to our string, go up one. So now we would be at index two. Again, that's great. Z, we throw Z on there go up one. Now we're at index three. Is three less than or equal to the length? Three? Yes, it is. So that's valid. We go around again and we try to do index three. There is not an index three. That will break. I believe. Let's give it a shot. Yup. Sad story. That one was tricky. Make sure you take your time on these guys. Onward.